Thank you for joining us. I'm Greg Glover. And I'm Cindy Sexton. New tonight, we're getting a closer look at the new East Hamilton Middle School. County, uh, Hamilton County School officials presented the design for the new building during a community meeting. Channel 3's Tanisha Cordell was there. Tanisha, what can we expect the new school to look like? Well, Greg, Cindy, the new building will be 165,000 square feet. The entire site will take up 33 acres, so it's a lot of space, but school officials say it's needed to address the overcrowding at the current middle high school. For years, East Hamilton parents and students have dealt with growing pains, but soon that won't be the case. I was very impressed. I, I think that it's very well designed. It appears to, that they've got a, a solid plan in place. Many watched as the design for a new East Hamilton Middle School was revealed. The school will house 1,200 students, grades 6 through 8. It will also come with four new athletic fields. But there are some concerns. Traffic is always a concern. It is always a, um, a bear in our area and um, definitely um, the traffic on East Brainerd Road is uh, a bit of a worry. Right now, parents say pickup and drop off traffic stretches onto the main roads, but school officials say they have a solution aside from staggering school start times. We're going to put a new road in. Um, we're going to separate our car riders from our bus riders and we're going to circle the traffic around the middle school and exit uh, tie in to the exit at the Appison Elementary. Rezoning is another concern. Superintendent Dr. Brian Johnson says it's a top priority. We're probably a year away uh, as this project gets further along. Uh, we'll continue to monitor throughout the course of this year, kind of look at numbers, and we'll start to develop ideas. Uh, then as we step into 1920, uh, we'll, we'll get real solid on kind of what's going to happen. The new East Hamilton Middle School will be near Appison Elementary School. Construction is set to start in February. The school is expected to open for the 2021 school year. For now, live in the studio, Tanisha Cordell, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Thanks, Tanisha.